How do you write the perfect LinkedIn summary? Now, I realize I'm a bit late on this because the website's been running for at least 12 years and 414 million people have already composed theirs. Um, but how do you do it? Well, I've been scrolling through a few of those, concentrating on famous people to see how, um, how they master this really tricky piece of writing. Um, and what I wanted was best practice. Instead, alas, I've come across some worst practice. So starting with a man who really should know how to do it, Reid Hoffman. He founded the website, so he, above anyone else, should be brilliant at teaching us how to write the perfect LinkedIn summary. This is how his begins. All aspects of consumer internet and software focuses on product development, innovation, business strategy and finance, but includes general management, are you bored yet? Operations, business operations, business development, talent management and marketing. Um, it goes on from there. I'm so bored I can't even go on reading it. So this for me is an, is an example of how not to write a LinkedIn summary. Um, rule number one, don't be boring and no lists. So for a change, I then looked at Hillary Clinton to see how she does hers. Now, hers is much shorter, which I think we can agree is much better. She says, wife, mother, grandmother, woman and kids advocate, first lady of the US, first lady of Arkansas, senator, secretary of state, dog person, hair icon, pantsuit aficionado, and 2016 presidential candidate. Now again, she's gone for the list, which I don't particularly like. But hers isn't boring, so a mark there. But actually, when I look closer, I don't like this any more than Reid Hoffman's. Now, the humour, I mean, you can see she's trying to be funny. But actually, pantsuit aficionado, are you roaring with laughter? I'm not. And the point of this isn't to be funny, so I would get rid no humour is the lesson I'm getting from this. But more important than that, the point of this summary is to say, why you're important and for her to be doing this sort of I'm so modest I'm really just a mum and a grandmother isn't working at all with me I don't know how many millions and millions of mothers wives and grandmothers there are in the US but there's only one 2016 presidential candidate so from Hillary Clinton I'm saying start with the big thing and skip the humor next I turned to Jack Welsh to see how he does his his begins like this. Um, Jack Welsh is one of the world's most respected and celebrated CEOs, known for his unmatched track record of success, enormous love of people, fierce passion for winning, an unbridled desire to change the world for the better. Bloody, bloody, blah, you've got the point. Now, from this, I, I, I draw two lessons from this. First of all, What's with the third person? I mean, I know lots and lots and lots of people think the third person is fine on Twitter because they just cut and paste their old style bio in there. But this is a social networking site and it surely should be a bit more personal than that. But what really gets me about this isn't the third person in general, it's the bragging in the third person. So all of this Jack Welch's enormous love of people, it's meant and that you know, he's the most successful CEO the world has ever known. He makes it sound like an objective fact, which it most clearly isn't. So go for the first person, skip the bragging, don't be boring, say what's the most important thing and skip the humor. So those are the lessons so far. Who does it well? Well, I went through, I didn't go through 414 million, but it certainly felt like it. I went through an awful lot of profiles. I couldn't really find any that I really liked. But then I came upon somebody who I've often slagged off in my columns, Satya Nadella at Microsoft. And well, I'm going to read you his and see what you think. His goes like this. Current CEO at Microsoft, where our aspiration is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Joined Microsoft in 1992 and have held a variety of roles, most recently Executive Vice President of Microsoft's Cloud and Enterprise Group, prior to becoming CEO. Now, in a way I don't like this because I really don't like Microsoft's grandiose mission, but that's not what that's about. It's an 
He likes it, and that's the point. He is CEO, he is promoting Microsoft and himself, so I think it's fine to quote the, the, the company's mission, and then he just says he's CEO, and he briefly says what he did before. So for me, it's not a fun read, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than most.